education, entertainment, imagination. There's a lot we can gain from books. But what if you have a print disability or a vision impairment that stops you from reading traditional books? This is where alternative formats come in. Including braille, audiobooks and large text, alternative formats of written material are vital for many people with disabilities to access educational resources, books for entertainment and other written texts. Despite their importance, however, they are much harder to find than traditional books. The City of Sydney Library has over 400,000 books for members to borrow, but only 8,000 of these are provided as an audiobook, and even fewer in Braille. Though most universities in Australia provide material in alternative formats to their students, they often do not provide the students' preferred format if another that they are able to use is available. UTS, for example, does not provide text in Braille if they already have an electronic copy of the same text. Because of this, people with disabilities usually have to search beyond their local libraries to access books. Luckily, thanks to the reforms to the Copyright Act 1968, passed in June last year, this is becoming easier. The reforms allow organisations which support the print disability community to make accessible copies of texts without breaching copyright, hugely expanding the number of texts available to them. Vision Australia's library is now the biggest provider of alternative format text since these reforms. Though the accessibility of text remains a significant issue in our society, these reforms show that improvement is possible.